All right, <clears throat> pardon me. We're on our next episode of Let's Play with Zori. I do appreciate you joining me here today. We're going to be tracking the Master of Peace. Alrighty. This merchant has a single stab wound in his chest that looks like the one Zephyrite found at the crash. Listen, I don't want any trouble. I saw what happened to that merchant. You're talking about the dead merchant we found in town, aren't you? Yes, I was there when he sold supplies to one of the Zephyrites, and not an hour later he turns up dead. Killed just for crossing paths with that man. Please, we're trying to find the Zephyrite before the merchant's killer can catch up with him. Yeah, he was in a hurry to get himself out of town. It looked like the Zephyrite was heading west, out towards Urban Canyon. Sounds like he was fleeing into the canyon. Thank you. Okay. Look for clues. As we approach the battlegrounds, we've stopped conversing about anything non-essential to our survival. We're too exhausted to do anything but plod forward. It's as if the wind, sun, and weather were conspiring to slow our progress. The words have mostly faded from exposure, but angrily scrawled in the margin in a unique handwriting is the single word, him. This newer handwriting matches the saboteurs. Okay, let's switch the wall for clues. An air of solemn solemnity rises from the sand and waves like a shimmer of heat, making it difficult to breathe. This is where Destiny's Edge confronted the Elder Dragon, and where our protector died defending us from her elder kin. I imagine I can see the crystalline remains from her corpse from here. They forged an alliance with her and led her con into her, their minds. They guided her legacy for as long as they could, but sadly their race was not to live forever. Destiny otherwise 
decided otherwise, and thus the torch was passed to my ancestors. We hid ourselves away for hundreds of years, helping her as we could, and keeping her secrets. The ink is faded on the rest of the page. Continue to the next legible segment. Dragons consume magic, but they do not destroy it. They hold it within themselves, like a sponge holds the water. I can only hope that we're faster than the scavengers and power mongers who would use her body to advance. The masterpiece may have unwittingly left a trail. What's next? Nice timing. I was just about to have Scruffy punch a way through this divine gate. I won't stand in your way. Is it here? It must be here. Somewhere. No. There he is. Stop! Where's the master of peace? Go Here away. Go. <laughs> go away, go away, go away! He's mine!
could conjure up a bone bridge, but it wouldn't cross the whole distance. It won't last forever, but it might last long enough for one of you to get across. Man, I wish we necromancers could make bone bridges. That would be awesome.
visual noise unless it's kind of annoying. Thank you for your service. I'm sorry you got involved in my troubles. Why was he after you? Yes, we know. Did he want revenge on you for something? Will you come back now? We can escort you. No. My journey has only just begun. You will tell my people that I am well, and that I continue onward? No. Those who don't know my destination know enough not to ask. Be well. I'm glad our paths crossed today. We should check his body. I want to know everything there is to know about him. He came through prosperity. Maybe some of us should go back there, see who else saw him. Great idea. He said he maybe maybe he said something that did something to somebody. You never know. We still don't know why he was so intent on killing the Master of Peace. I have to confess, his insane ramblings reminded me uncomfortably of that of Scarlet. Me too. Do you think he was an ally of hers? It's possible, but he didn't mention her specifically. I got a bad feeling. I was deeply unnerved by him. All I can think of about was Scarlet and Lion's Hatch. What if... What if Scarlet was just the tip of the iceberg? Lama hair and a few bits of straw are stuck to Aaron's clothing, as if he slept in a barn or animal pen recently. Prosperity has some farm animals. I should talk to somebody there. The paper is sticking out of his pocket. This piece of paper is torn. The lettering is frantic and only partially legible. The left half of the paper is missing, but the remaining piece says... Leader will die. The rest will fall in line. We will not fail. The rest is unreadable. Alrighty.
fortunate to still be with us. Martinez. All gone, all gone. I'm ruined. I'm sorry to bother you with this, but have you seen a strange Silvari around here? For sure, she was long gone before all this happened. She was a creepy one, though. Rolled into town with a huge load of crates and bought a place to hole up in. She, I'm looking for a male. In that case, I haven't seen him. The other one, though, she kept to herself, and we let her be. You should have seen her with all those crazy red stalks growing out of her head. Wait, really? Who'd know more about her? Ask around if anyone's left to ask. Maybe someone here in town actually tried talking with her. When she, there was still a town here, I mean. That came out of nowhere. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm assessing the situation. What did you need? I just want directions, actually, to that mysterious safari's room. Huh. You're thinking about breaking in and leaving the place? Not recommended. That one took personal security to a whole new level. Do you know who she was? She wasn't the friendly type, despite the perky red pigtail flowers on her head. None of us figured she had anything worth the risk. Let me want to take a look. Where is it? Right over there. Remember, I warned you. Alrighty, I'm going to cut this episode short, and I'll see you guys next week.